Okay, rock sliders, Robbie Denning here. This is the next phase of our Kuyu Super Down sleeping bag versus the Western Mountaineering Badger sleeping bag. This will be our soak test. If you want to follow this whole review that I've been doing for about the last month, including a lot of input from Rock Slide members, just go down in the comments and you'll see a link back to the thread where we've been posting on. So for the soak test, I've got both bags back there in the tent. Um, we're forecast to get eh, eighth of an inch of rain here over the next few hours. I'm just going to pull the bags out. I'm just going to lay them on the grass. I don't have identical sleeping pads, so I'm not even going to try to lay them on a sleeping pad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the foot box of each one and lay it in a little pan of water. Each of these pans has about a quarter inch of water in it. I'm going to set up a little rain gauge. We'll see how much water gets on the bags. I'll come back out maybe about dark or so and check on them. I'm going to fold the uh, face part in as far as I can to keep water from running straight into the bag. Um, but basically the bag will just be exposed to the weather. So this would be a worst case scenario, you know, tent blowing away in a, in a storm or dropping your bag out of your pack and not realizing having to hike back down and get it. I, by the way, I know all that because I've had that stuff happen. And um, we'll just see which one of these holds up the best in our soak test, okay? Here goes. Okay, so that's the Kuyu Super Down on that side. That's the Badger on this side. We got a, just a steady little drizzle going. I think I've got the tops covered up. I might even lay something across there to make sure they stay down. And then we're just gonna let her rip and we'll check back here in a few hours. Okay, Rock Sliders, it's been about two and a half hours since I put these bags out here. It's been raining and snowing and sleet that entire time. Um, we definitely have more than measurable precipitation. There's probably a sixteenth of an inch of moisture in that little rain gauge right there. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on top of the bags. There's definitely uh, puddles. And then I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute. I'm going to move them into the tent and then I'll open them up and we'll take a look at what it looks like inside. And um, there are puddles up there by where the face hole is, so I'll just tip the bag slowly, make sure all the water runs off, not into the bags. And uh, definitely uh, looks like all the water that I put in the trays under the foot boxes is still there. And it's, it's covered, so it's not collecting moisture from above. So I'd be surprised if it soaked into the uh, bag very much, just based on how much is there. I could be wrong, but... That's what this test is about. We're going to see. Okay. You can see, although they're in different places, there's about equal amounts of puddles on both bags. That's the Kuyu right there. You know, three notable size puddles kind of one big puddle there on the western mountaineering badger and then there's another small puddle so you know it definitely looks to me like equal exposure to the water so i'll go ahead and uh, get these in the tent and then we'll open them up and take a look at them okay the western mountaineering i just pulled it in the tent this is the badger and let's uh, take a look at it. I know it's tight quarters, guys. It's really hard to get that camera set up where you can see everything, but I have not opened the bag. I haven't done anything. You get to see it when I see it. Okay. Okay. 
not finding any any water. Nothing is soaked through. Get it zipped down into the foot box. Okay, this is the foot box right here, and that was the side that was sitting in the puddle right there. Totally soaked on the outside. <clears throat> Dry my hands off on my pants so I can feel it. Dry. You know, just a tiny, tiny bit of dampness there. Just, just a tiny. You can barely tell, like up in here is dry, but you get down in the foot box, you can just, just feel a little bit of it. But lots of loft there. Man, I, I tell you what, I wouldn't be afraid to sleep in that sleeping bag tonight. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I'd say it passed, all right? I'm gonna grab the Kuyu now. You can tell, just looking at that, that the Kuyu doesn't have the bulk that the Badger does, and I can just tell picking it up, it's lighter. But, <clears throat> this is the soak test, so let's, let's take a look here. Got that camera right, guys. Sorry for the bad camera angle. All the way down to there. Okay, so the top. It's a little easier to see because it's got a light inside. Okay, so there's the inside on the Kuyu. See anything leaking through? Dry my hands off here. See anything that is soaked through? I don't see any wet spots. Okay, little bit of water right there, guys. Just a little bit right there. You can see, you can see it running off. So I don't have any way to know if that's what came, if anything came through the top of the bag or if it was just right here. I don't feel, don't feel any wet down, but there was definitely some water right there. Okay, down in the foot box now. Gosh, guys, I'm sorry about this camera. Darn it. Hopefully you can see that water. I couldn't, I couldn't see the camera, but there was just, it's gone now, but there was just a few beads of water right there, about midway through the bag okay opening up the foot box I saw one drip of water right there a couple drip yep, a few few pieces running off right there just a tiny bit of dampness um, so I visually saw a few drops of water come off of the Kuyu that I couldn't see with the badger but as far as dampness, it feels about the same. Like it's it's just slightly damp. It's not wet. There's no there's no soak. The 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 loft is all still there, but you can tell that you know it's been exposed to water. Um. So as long as I'm not being fooled by the uh, colors of the inside of the bags, because the Kuyu is is lighter, so it's honestly it's just a little bit easier to see. Um, I think that the badger held out a little bit more water just looking at it. Now I'm going to grab the badger again just to double check and make sure I didn't, didn't miss anything because of that dark color of the bag. Let's get it in there. Whoops, knew that was going to happen. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Okay, let's open the badger back up. Make sure I'm not missing it because of the darker color. That's the top of the bag. I got the bag turned over now, but that's all right. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, so if I had to judge it right now, I would say they both passed the soak test. You could sleep in either of these bags tonight easily, but it it looked like a little bit of water got through on the Kuyu. I'll have no idea whether it came through the top. I had the, I had the lids folded over, the, you know, where the face is on both of them. And I tried to make sure I tipped them so nothing ran down in. But, you know, a little bit of water did get in the Kuyu for sure. And it uh, looks like the Badger held it out. But uh, I don't think, 
I'd be scared of sleeping in either of those bags tonight. You know, that's that's pretty cool with down bags that they can do that. I slept in military down bags for years, and man, you didn't want to get them wet. Whatever they even touched, the, that whole spot was done until you got got it dried out. So uh, th these bags definitely repel water very, very well. Um, like I said, I wouldn't be afraid to sleep in either of them. So, okay.